Hi, I'm Marnie Williams and I'm going to be showing you how to make these delicious chocolate and peanut butter brownies. There's absolutely no flour in them, so in times like these when actually it's quite tricky to get hold of some flour, they're the perfect recipe. Our first step is to start with our oat flour. Now all that this is, is rolled oats whizzed up in a food processor to make a lovely fine flour. This is a perfect flour substitute at the minute if you can't get hold of flour. Um, and it works really, really well in scones, it works well in pancakes, and it works really well in brownies. So I've got my oat flour here. To that, I'm going to add some ground almonds. I'm also gonna add some sugar. You can use any granulated sugar. I'm using light, soft brown sugar, but you can use any granulated sugar that you can get your hands on at the minute. A little bit of salt and I'm gonna give that a little bit of a mix round before I add the wet ingredients. Right, we've got our dry ingredients all mixed in. We're gonna now start adding our wet ingredients. We're now going to add peanut butter. I use chunky peanut butter because I really like the added crunch. So don't forget, all of the ingredients and the method will be in the comments below. Then we're gonna add some coconut oil. If you can't get hold of any coconut oil, vegetable oil will do, or if you're not worried about making them vegan, you can melt down some butter to make about 100 ml. Uh, or if you do wanna keep them vegan, you can melt down some, some vegan spread to make 100 ml, but you want um, 100 ml of some kind of fat or oil. Some dairy-free yogurt. Now we've got our vegan chocolate, which has been melted down. That's gonna go in. Top tip for melting chocolate. A lot of people do it in a bowl over boiling water. You can do it in the microwave if you're quite careful. If you put your microwave on about 60, maybe 80% power, and then do it in 30 second bursts. And after 30 seconds, get the bowl out, mix it, put it back in 30 seconds. And in about two or three bursts, you can normally get your chocolate at the perfect melted temperature. We're gonna give this all a really good mix up now. So now we've got this texture of brownie mixture, we're going to add some boiling water mixed with some coffee. If you don't get a coffee flavor in the brownie, what it does is it brings out that chocolate flavor uh, and just makes the, the brownie really squidgy and fudgy. Pour that in. We've got all our ingredients mixed in. Now I'm gonna grab the tray. So you want any kind of shape tray, it doesn't matter, it can be a cake tin if you haven't got a brownie tin. And then this one I've lined with some parchment paper. I'm gonna pour our mixture in. Just give it a good spread out, make sure it's tucked into the corners. And then this is the really fun bit. In my piping bag, I've got a few tablespoons of smooth peanut butter. You could use uh, the chunky peanut butter if you wanted to, but you wouldn't be able to pipe it. And I'm just gonna cut off little snippet at the end and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle the peanut butter back and forth across the top of the brownie batter then I'm going to use my skewer you can use a toothpick or a sharp knife if you haven't got a skewer and I'm just going to bring the skewer back and forth to create swirls of peanut butter through the batter it's ready to go in the oven now 180 fan 200 conventional for about 35 minutes there we have it, our delicious, vegan, no flour brownies. They're chocolate chip and peanut butter and they taste amazing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Head down below for all the details of the recipe, the ingredients and the method. Thanks so much, bye.